it's a Thursday and I set my alarm for 515 because I wanted to uh, scout this location and I've got the whole place to myself. Oh, I should probably show you where I am. Look at this. What? That is called the Devil's Backbone here in Loveland, Colorado. And I have a client I'm bringing out here on Saturday and I needed to scout it out first <laughs> because um, I don't want them to have to walk too far and have to look out for rattlesnakes and um, find some posing places like this rock with that in the background yeah and this is a wider trail right here I'll show you so the trail is nice and wide along here and the Sun since the Sun is rising there it's gonna light them so beautifully at 630 in the morning so this would be the perfect time of day to see rattlesnakes out on the trail sunning or even just off the trail so I'm staying in the middle I'm making crunchy noises <laughs> um, I will not have my clients go off trail at all that boulder had a little spot it was you're meant to go off trail right there um, it's really open so I'll make a ton of noise <laughs> Uh, there are also signs that bobcats could be up here and just a variety of other animals but if i'm super loud i think it's okay um i've been up here lots of times and so is my client lots of times that's why they wanted it here i had several concerns with this session although it was early summer late june i knew it would get very hot very quickly in this location this spot is also well known for its high concentration of rattlesnake incidences and I knew we had to walk at least a half a mile uphill to this location. And did I mention that the client is pregnant? Of course I have my water also. And there's steps here so I won't be able to bring my wagon. So I'll just consolidate my kit and Frank will be with me and we'll carry a couple of things and travel light. All right, there's a little bit of a breeze, so I hope you've been able to hear me on my, I'm just filming on my phone, but I'm enjoying my morning. I hope you're enjoying it with me too. Remember to thumbs up. Ooh, look at the backlight on these. I don't think I'll be able to use this section, but look at that. Oh, so pretty. Wow. <laughs> this couple enrolled in my book project fundraiser for 2022, which required us to go to iconic Northern Colorado locations. And Devil's Backbone is well known. And usually this is a very well-traveled trail too. So another reason for coming very early on a Saturday is to be out of the way of people hiking. And because of the rattlesnakes, I wanted to make sure we scouted out all the way around these rocks that we're posing on. There's gravel path there. And that I'm not walking out into the field, especially near bushes or any ledges that they could be hiding under or around. So I was kind of limited to being on this trail, but I really wanted that backbone in the background. Porter, the pupper here, is a little bit older and very well trained. They take him out all the time. So he did really well off leash sitting still in this location. Fun fact, these, this couple said they also had their engagement photos taken at this location. Aww. Next up, we tried Porter on this little bit shorter rock, different perspective, and we try everything we can to get his attention back to camera. Listen. Maybe a different one? Okay, oh, you look so fantastic right there. My goodness gracious, look at you. Wow. 
I love photographing people, and I always encourage them to be in at least some of the photos. And that had been their plan as well. We really wanted to get a family photo of everyone. We really did have limited places for them to pose, though. But I found a couple of spots. We ended up staying within a few feet of this location, just moving back and forth on the trail. Really love this spot with Porter, and as he walks towards the camera, I got one of my most favorite images of the session. All right, so all three of you. I'd like to take a moment here to appreciate Frank. He really came prepared. He had a hat with a sunshade on it, his hiking shirt, sturdy pants and sturdy boots, and he is just in there rocking the reflector like always. Thanks, Frank. You're the best. Very good. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll take a break. Are we good? Yeah. Is that a great spot? We really just pivoted 180 degrees from one side of the trail to the other for some family images. I needed more individual photos of just Porter, so we set him up here with his back to the sun. It's super important that Frank reflect that sun back on his face since he is a black dog. But from my point of view, the behind him is just glowing all of these weeds and grasses just glow next to him and he got his little bow tie on so uh, it turned out really really cute let's see if he'll sit right in front of you again there there we go we had to get some maternity pictures too of course have it all. okay so do you want to do the um the baby yeah, yeah. uh let's that way, yep. And then let's see if he'll look up. So you just have to make some noises and he'll look up at you. Oh, adorable. Look towards me. Cute. Typically the last set of images I do at a family session are the walking towards and walking away. These are great for their albums. And it's fun to show just the interaction between everyone. Look at each other. Perfect. Okay, very good. All done. In the end, all of our preparation paid off. We were get, able to get there super early. There weren't very many people on the trail. We didn't run across any snakes. Everyone was well hydrated and did just fine. And the clients loved their images. Well done.